set a digital output, but you don't necessarily want to do that within your code. You want to do it no matter whether your code's running or not. What you're going to use is called a reference position. So you're going to hit your menu key right here. Then we're going to go down to six setup. Go ahead and go over, down to eight reference position. Enter. This will take us to our reference position screen right here. In this reference position screen, you can teach the position right here. So you can give it a comment. Also, uh, you'll actually show up on this screen right here. Then you'll need to click the detail button right here, which will take you inside of there into the particular position. You can record that position and it'll record your current position to these joint angles or joint, joint degrees. And now you've officially got a reference position. So make sure you enable this. Uh, make sure it's enabled back here on this other screen. As you can see, these are disabled. For our current application, I'm actually doing some troubleshooting and this is causing an issue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable this so that way I can fire that output. Because right now I can't fire the output. It just continually, continually fires it back. So if we go to, let's open up our other screen right quick just to show you guys. So we go IO. If I go to digital out, turn on, uh, turn on that output, notice, you see it flash right back. The reason why is because it's being written to by this reference position. So we're going to come back over here and disable this. So that way we can come back over here to this other screen and Enable our home position. Boom, code is running.